Where am I? That is a fantastic question. Right now we're on a stunning plot where we will find the realistic water fountain. This plot is gorgeous though. Look at this beautiful winter themed build. There is all sorts of amazingness going on around us, including this water fountain over here that has some bubbling particle effects above it at the top. This is the realistic water fountain. Why have I called it realistic? Because it's not just water. It's also got one of those features you'll see out there in the world where you have water fountains where the water gets shot up into the air. And you can see that at the top where I've loaded in some particle effects. And you know what? I could have put in a lot more than the ones that you see right there. Now there are three different colors at the top of that because there are three different bluish arrows available to us in this game. Arrow of night vision, swiftness, breathing, uh, all of that stuff easy to get in survival Minecraft. So we're using a trick here that you may remember from a tutorial I did a while back. There is a sticky piston and slime block going back and forth so this thing does make a little bit of noise and it is pushing those arrows up over and over again and each time they land the despawn timer gets reset. This thing will last forever. You can log in, log out, leave the area, come back and it will be absolutely fine. You will have those particle effects on top of your water fountain which I've got to say looks pretty spectacular. So there are currently two water sources on top of there. The second one will stop the arrows from flying up into the air which they do do occasionally like just then and if you were to lower this, you could have them shoot up higher all the time. Now, because I'm removing this, it's obviously going to hit the arrows and potentially mess this thing up. But we've been quite fortunate, and it looks like a couple of those are still going. So you can also set it up like that, which I don't think looks as pretty. I think it's nice to have uh, two lots of water above it. But let me show you what exactly the contraption that's moving this slime block up and down is. So in the middle of your fountain, you're going to need some terracotta blocks like this. You don't actually have to use those, you just need blocks that are removable by the slime block. And when this pushes up and down, it won't move these blocks. There's also the darker one as well. The Both of those mix in with the water, very nice, but due to the quartz I was using here, decided to use the lighter one. And you'll need more blocks as well to conceal the rest of this contraption. So below this right here is where you want to have a sticky piston. Now you don't want it facing off to the side like that. We're just placing that there so I can go below it and place two observers facing downwards. If we remove that one, you'll see that the face of the observer is facing the sticky piston. So now we're going to go above where we're placing this one and look downwards and place it and the two of them are facing into each other and creating a clock which allows you to hide a clock in the middle of your contraption you know it's very nice compact and streamlined you can put water around it as well of course water and redstone wire don't mix very well together now if we put a slime block here you'll see that it moves up and down between where these terracotta blocks which is exactly why we need them in that position and then of course you can go ahead and you can put the water on top Placing the first bit of water is absolutely fine. You just put it on top of that slime block. The second one, though, is going to be a little bit tricky. You don't want to disturb the water flow here, and you want to place this in a specific way. So now we've got a block above where that water is, but there's space between the two of them. You need to place the water on the underside here so it can flow out on all sides. If you have this block on the side, it wouldn't flow out in one direction. So you need to do that. If the water is flowing out to the side, it means it's going to move the arrows. So now we have two static uh, water sources right there for us to shoot the arrows into. So you do this over and over again, face straight down and just shoot a bunch of these and eventually they'll start bobbing up and down. There you go. And here's another trick for you, which I showed in a video on my second channel that some of you might have saw. You can also put the bow in your offhand and choose which color you want to shoot by holding the arrow in your main hand like so. So now we can put these other colors into here as well. And now we've got a ridiculous amount of arrows. I'd recommend probably only using four or five there's about seven or eight in there, and it's making a lot of particle effects. So to recap, we have created a very slim redstone clock that won't be interrupted by water, and that activates a sticky piston and a slime block. That is the smallest blueprint for this clock that you could possibly put inside the water fountain, which is extremely useful. You also actually don't need this terracotta, but I think it's a really good idea to put it around the edge and hide this contraption, and that'll allow you to build any kind of... Uh, fountain you like big or small and put these effects into them now if you've enjoyed the plot which is a ski resort that's been uh, happening in the background if it looks interesting to you you can come and check it out over at play.assumavoid.com all of these wonderful people contributed to this build and you can find a link to the website and how to get to the plot in the description box down below i hope you enjoy it as much as i have done it's been a great setting to record this little 
feature on for you. Anyway, that's it from me this video. If you've enjoyed it, then leave a like. As always, thank you ever so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.